begin with understanding some of the very important topics from environment in our second part. In the first part, we talked about black carbon, forestry, the various measures for project tiger, project lion. Here we talk about an interesting concept, 5G forest reforms. Now, what is 5G forest reforms? The five important things which have been taken in the place in the forest and have been important for you. One is to promote bamboo. So far, bamboo was classified as a forest. However, now bamboo is cla was classified as a tree and is now classified as a grass. That means cutting of bamboo is now not illegal and therefore bamboo, bamboo plantation and cultivation has been given a boost. The second important thing is for seamless production of timber, bamboo and other minor forest products, national transit uh, pass system has been started which provides online transit facility. The third is a GIS based system has been created under the Parivesh portal and this Parivesh portal actually brings in the accounting for the various environment single uh, window hub. The fourth important development under forest is a e-green watch program. This e-green watch program actually brings in a technology effective system for CAMPA funds and this brings in geospatial data and the accuracy uh, and the location where the green trees must be planted. With that accuracy, you have this e-green watch uh, app or platform. And the last one is under the forest survey of India, one agony geo portal has been established and this is a user uh, friendly portal to get an information and a continuous monitoring and tracking about forest fires in India. Which areas, what is the reason, what could be the prevention and the important information to the nearby people. The next is National Mission on Strategic Knowledge for Climate Change. Now this is one of the programs that have been started under the UNFCCC that is United Nations Federation uh, for Climate Change. Uh, and this federation talks about a research plan, a vision plan of net zero by 2070. So this national action plan on climate change talks about various uh, sectors, for example, solar energy, bringing in energy efficiency, water, sustainable agriculture, Himalayan ecosystem, green India, health and strategic knowledge and identify the priority areas for capacity building and involvement. Various 13 climate change centers have been established across India for the same. The next is environment education, uh, awareness and training. So EEAT is environment education, awareness and training program. Now this is a centrally sponsored scheme by Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and this talks about bringing environmental awareness, bringing in the students participation for conservation. For example, under the National Green Corps that talks about promoting the green plants, the nature, the National Nature Camping programs which talks about camping in the natural sites. Uh, there have been various eco clubs that are established. So more than 1 lakh eco clubs are established to educate people to spread the knowledge about environment and a financial assistance of 5000 per eco club is given for various activities to the schools and this talks about bringing in awareness programs and uh, responsible acts by the uh, people. The next is technology assessment cell. Now this program uh, is under the national clean air program. Under the national clean air program this technology assessment cell has been built and this has experts from IIT, Kanpur, Madras, uh, Mumbai, uh, Roorkee, Gohati working together along with AIMS, NIRI and other platform to bring in technology and innovations for sustainable environment and sustainable development. The next is the COP27 recently ha held and the climate justice. So India had been party to the UN national uh, framework for convention on climate change, its Kyoto protocol, its Paris agreement. The Paris agreement aims to keep the uh, level of temperature rise below 1.5 degrees Celsius as was around 2 degrees for the industrial revolution. So for the industrial revolution it was below 1.5 and we aim to keep it not above 
2 degree celsius but there has been cooperative efforts of g77 plus china uh, members which are the basic uh, coalition now this basic coalition is brazil south africa india and china together so brazil south africa india and china together they have a coalition which aims to bring in positive outcomes on any loss or damage any equity finance adaptation and related parameters g77 plus china accounts for 80% plus world population and bringing in fair and equitable budget for carbon distribution is important so india's decision in this line is extremely important the next is environmental scrutiny now under the environmental protection act 1986 there have been various uh, environmental uh, assessment programs the idea is any new project must be notified expansion of any project if it has to be taken must be notified and any change in the production mix or the product mix if any has to be notified so this all can be done through the parivesh app and this parivesh app is proactive responsive facilitation by interactive virtuous environmental single window hub so it's a single window hub where you have a submission form and application form and it talks about all kinds of clearances including the coastal clearances so this is uh, environmental clearance process has four steps the first step is a screening the second step is a scoping the third step is public consultation and the fourth step is appraisal all of these four steps are important the next is increasing sea levels now indian national center for ocean information is under the ministry of earth science and talks about altm which is the airborne lidar terrain mapping system uh, which has a data from national remote sensing the idea is it would generate tsunami inundation model and vulnerability mapping for the region 2 km from the coast so region 2 km from the coastline would be the areas that would be identified and what is the level of sea level rise in those areas would be studied a uh, early warning system for india would be uh, designated with 36 tight gauge meters which would be established four in andhra pradesh in visakhapatnam kakinada uh, Mach uh, machali patnam and krishna patnam so coastal regulation authority zone has again an important say in that then we come on to plastic recycling for plastic recycling four categories have been divided category 1 is rigid plastic packing the second category is flexible packing of single layer or multi layer uh, this could be plastic sheet carry bag sachet or pouch third is multi layer with at least one layer of plastic and the other layers could be of other material the fourth is plastic sheet or similar for packing as well as carry bag made of compostable plastic so fourth category is compostable plastic now which category has which kind of plastic is important for recycling of plastic a direct question on that could be asked very important topic climate change performance index now under this index india attained eighth position which is remarkable because the first three positions went vacant that means india is technically at its fifth position so no country from g20 nation was above india so india is at eighth uk at 11th germany at 16th uh, uh, so these are the only three countries from uh, g20 which are part of this index in the first 20 list now in india for the rating for greenhouse emissions it's high for renewable energy it's medium climate policy is medium and energy use is high that means we strictly need to work on renewable energy and climate policy and its stringent guidelines to be followed so india under the paris agreement said that we are talking about reducing the emission intensity to 45% of the gdp this is something that we have discussed in the kurukshetra february edition as well extremely important topic and to achieve 50% cumulative power installed from non fossil fuel base is another important aspect that must be taken into account the next is blue flag beaches 12 such beaches have been identified this is by the foundation of environment education in denmark uh, which gives this blue flag certification on 33 parameters we have covered a separate video on this extremely important topic now these are the beaches which already have blue blue flag 
सर्टिफिकेशन शिवराजपुर इन गुजरात गोगला इन दीव कसरगोड एंड पाबुबिद्री इन कर्नाटका कप्पड़ इन केरला ऋषिकोंडा आंध्र प्रदेश गोल्डन इन ओडिशा राधानगर इन अंडमान निकोबार कोवलम इन तमिलनाडु एंड एडन इन पुडुचेरी टू न्यू बीचेस हैव बीन एडेड दो आर मिनिकॉय थुंडी एंड कदम बीच बोथ ऑफ देम हैव वाइट सैंड and uh, turquoise waters around with clear pristine environment there and these two beaches have been recently added in the blue flag certification extremely important for your upcoming examination even for geography student this comes out to be an important topic for map location now the central control pollution board has identified 131 cities including 123 non attainment cities under the national ambient air quality standards and it has talked about the cities which include cities like kanpur where huge amount of pollution has been done what have been the steps to combat this pollution is notification under the national ambient air quality standards which i already mentioned uh, the next one is identifying the emission standards for industrial sector monitoring the network for assessing the air quality cleaner fuels like cng and lpg national air quality index and shifting from B, uh, bs4 to bs6 fossil fuel standards not the fossil sorry fuel standards right and this is a very important development in checking the amount of pollution besides that some of the notifications include the solid waste management e waste management act plastic waste bio waste construction and demolition of waste management and generation of ash from coal and lignite based thermal power projects there have been guidelines and policies which have come Come up for these, and those have again been important. So these are some of the important topics that we have covered for this uh, section on expected questions. The most important among this is blue flag certification being provided to two beaches, which is the Minicoy Thundi Beach and the Kad Kadmat Beach. Both of them belonging to the region of Lakshadweep, which have white sands known for their uh, tourism, water sports, and their pristine uh, environmental condition. coming up complying with all the 33 criteria is laid down under blue flag certification so this was for today we'll be covering many such interesting topics of expected questions pertaining from science technology defense polity in the upcoming sessions stay tuned